But yeah, hello everybody and welcome to my ninth weekly Excel Hacks episode. And in this episode, we're going a little bit more into VBA Hacks. Uh, we've got a couple of custom functions that you can download uh, via the website. It'll be in the description below. Uh, and then we've just got a handy little bit of VBA code as well. Uh, so we've got the week commencing custom function. So you put in week start and it just gives you the date of the Monday at the start of the week. Uh, we've got option compare text, which you can't actually see here because it's all in the VBA code. And it just allows for easily defining how you want to uh, convert, uh, compare text. Uh, and then we've got sum color, which is a custom formula that allows you to sum up a certain part, a certain uh, colors. So here I've got the sum of pink, green, and yellow. Um, so let's just jump in and get started with our first hack of the week. Right, so my first hack of the week is week commencing formula. And this is a custom formula that I put together. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, and you see here, I've got a list of dates and then a list of week starts. And then you just use this week start custom function. Uh, and if I just show you the function quickly for those of you that are interested. Uh, and if I move that one down, so it's this one up here. So it's just public function week start. Uh, it takes a date, passes out a date, uh, and then it just uses a little weekday formula to work out what the Monday of the week is. Uh, you can change it slightly if you want to show the Tuesday or the Sunday. Uh, you just need to fiddle around with this formula a little bit. Uh, but like I said, available to download in the description below. And that is it for our first hack of the week. So my second hack of the week is option compare. Uh, and it works very similar to option explicit. You put it right at the top of your VBA code. Uh, so this is only useful if you're writing VBA. So if you don't know what VBA is, uh, I would say skip on, but I'd actually still go and watch all my VBA videos because they're great. Um, that's not bias. Well, it is bias. Anyway, so I've got this little function that says if hello equals hello, then message box success. At the moment, if I press play on that, it's not going to do anything because uh, the default setting in VBA is that capital letters in a string, when you compare it to a string in lowercase, uh, is, isn't going to equal the same thing. But you can actually up here, if you go to option compare text and just put that in as an option. And now if you press play, you'll see that it comes up with the message box saying success. Uh, and that can be really useful. Uh, quite often I've spent ages putting loads of formulas in my code to make them equal each other. But you can actually just stick this at the top of all of your things. And it makes all of them compare without taking into account the letter case uh, if you want to do the opposite and you want to force it to be so that it, they have to be the same uh, then use option compare binary uh, but obviously this is the kind of default option so you don't really need to use it uh, it's only really the option compare text that you're ever going to put in your code uh, but some people like to put it in just to to make sure that it's doing it that way um, and that is it for the second hack of the week. Right then everybody, it's time for our super hack. And our super hack this week is the color function formula. And this is again a custom formula that I put together. Uh, and what it does is it just sums up a range depending uh, and takes a color as a criteria. Uh, and the way it does this, so you see here we've got color function and then you've got J3, which is the cell which you want to use the color from. So in this instance, I've referenced the cell that the formula is in because uh, that's where my color is. Uh, and you see as you go down, you go J4, J5. So it's always referencing the cell that the formula is in. And that just means I can color the formula cell the same color as what I want to show the sum for. Uh, and then the next parameter is the range that you want to sum up. So in this case, I've gone for sale quantity. Uh, and then the final parameter is just true or false. Uh, and that just decides whether you want to do a sum or a count. 
Uh, and again, this, this custom function is available for download in the description. You can download the workbook and just steal the uh, function from it. Uh, if we go into our code, uh, and I just talk through this. So uh, it's just a normal function, color function. It takes the range uh, of the color, the range of the sum, and the range of the uh, or the and the option of whether you want to uh, do a sum or a count. Then to find some variables. We take the value of the color index, and then this if statement uh, here just d decides whether or not we want to. Uh, do the sum or the count. So if sum set is true, then it does this bit, which does a sum. And if it's count, it does this bit, which is count. And then it just loops for all the cells and sums up any that have the relevant color, uh, or loops through the cells and does a count of the relevant color. And then it just returns the the answer to the function. Uh, so a little bit VBA heavy this week. So next week I'll probably do a little bit less VBA stuff. Uh, but for those of you, I know most people who watch this channel uh, do do uh, watch it for the VBA things. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And please keep submitting your hacks. Uh, I've I've had a little bit of a dry bit of people sending me hacks, which is a little bit upsetting. Uh, I quite like. I love seeing the the ones that you guys come up with because it makes me learn new things as well. Uh, so please keep sending them through uh, and uh, I hope to catch you next week.